Hello there YouTube and welcome back to another uh, video, not another show I guess, and today I'm gonna talk about omnibuses. I guess I'm just gonna get into it without further hesitation so I don't drag this video out. But I'm gonna talk about omnibuses and I'm gonna talk about good versus bad. So I've select, selected a good DC and a bad DC, good marble and bad marble. Now it all comes down to what you prefer and what you think is good or bad when you buy your omnibus. But I'm going to show you what I think is a good omnibus and what I think is a bad omnibus. So let's just kick it off with uh, the bad DC omnibus and that is this one. This is um, Orion by Walter Simonson. Now you have to look uh, past the artwork because artwork is actually uh, really nice in this book. It's not the point. It's a lot of other things. First off, uh, dust jackets. I'm not a fan of dust jackets at all. I truly hate dust jackets. I just don't see the points. Yeah, I, I understand that they're supposed to, you know, like save the books, but mm -mm. when you have like different version of dust jackets and you pay extra there's a different dust jacket. You no, know, there's a limited print, and I just think dust jackets are stupid. So let's see this book. Let's see the back of the book. It doesn't say anywhere. No, it doesn't say anywhere what issues this omnibus has. And I heard somewhere that. Walter Simonson himself really didn't like this at all. The spine actually looks nice. Can't complain about that. It's very clean. Looks nice. Uh, the cover is pretty good. Not the greatest cover, but it's nice. So, let's get into this. Now, just begins. We don't have a table of content and yes, the artwork is really nice, but no table of content, really no uh, Yeah, it's written and drawn by Walter Simonson, but not and it has some of the other creators on this book, but no table of content It does have the page count but you, when you look at the art here the art is too it's too big for the book that it spells out look at for example look, let's look at this it doesn't have the, the edge and the, they it's like they didn't fit the art to the book I don't know if they want to make it different or whatever but it's just bad then we don't have the covers for the new for the issues. So this is a new issue apparently. Obviously it doesn't say what issue it is. It's just just made a big big splash page, I guess. So no covers to tell you what issue you're on and, and of course as I said it doesn't say anywhere what freaking issue how many issues and what issue you're reading. So that's very, very bad. Here's the next one, I guess. It just, look at this. No, it wasn't. Yes. This is very confusing to me. This is a new issue, another issue. I don't know if this was the original cover or not, no clue, and it doesn't say. So this is a really bad omnibus because the colors are not fitted to the actual book. They spill out. They're... It doesn't fit. The color, the, the, the artwork, look, the colors, what I'm saying, the artwork doesn't look like it fits. They haven't made it the right format for the book. And this is it. Nowhere. Not here. Not in the back, as I so told you. 
not here and because you don't have a table of content you don't have anywhere where it says how many issues what issues what page they're on nothing so i consider this a very bad uh, omnibus and nowhere here as well there's like yeah some extras which is nice it's always nice with extras So this is to me a bad omnibus. It just doesn't have any information. The information it has is has is very just bad. Compare that to a good one. Put that one away. Here we go. Swamp thing in the Bronze Age. Very clean and simple. Clean and simple spine. Uh, let's see if it says on the back here. House of Secrets 92, Swamp Thing 1 through 24, Saga of the Swamp Thing 1 through 19, Saga of the Swamp Thing Annual 1. So already on the back here it says what's in this book. Another stupid dust jacket, but this is just embossing the imprint. Open this up and I'm sorry. Get this, one thing around the stage, and then you get the uh, creative teams on this book. So you actually get that immediately, which is nice. And you get the table of content. So let's see here. Let's see. You see House of Secrets 92, it came out June, July 1971, what the issue was called. Yeah, you can just move down here and it's like Swamp Thing number nine, March, April, 1974, called The Stalker from Beyond. And you have the cover art, the writer, the pencils, all that good stuff. And you see what page it begins. And you get more table of contents because there's a lot of book in this. There's a nice foreword and then you get into it and that classic cover. So the art breaking this is facing. Page count. Art looks very nice for the book as well. Like this one's looking at let's see here if we can the <laughs> gonna There you have the cover. Says a classic cover. Number two. What it cost? 20 cents back in the day. That's January. That's how it works. Really, really nice. Really clean. There's another great cover, by the way. <laughs> Page 69. This is number three. March. And there you go. It's very clean. It's been recolored, I guess, but uh, not recolored like that new Absolute Swamp thing, which looks horrible, which I was going to get, but I opted not to get it. I opted out. So this is a good DC Omnibus. The uh, bronze, gold, silver, bronze age uh, line that they have been doing for a long time now. And I have three, I have this, I have House of Secrets, and I have Brave and the Bold, Volume 1. I want to get more, but these are ones I have for now. I'm not an omnibus collector per se, but I get the omnibuses I like, obviously. Let's go to a bad Marvel omnibus now. Yes, this run, this uh, Brubaker Michael Lark run is spectacular. It's one of the greatest Marvel runs of all time. I'm not talking about the actual one itself. I'm talking about the actual book. It's okay. Not the the series, because that is great. I love the series. I'm talking about the actual book. So you get you you do get the covers, which is nice. You do get what it collects. Forty three to fifty. I'm sorry about the glare here. Just let's try to move out of the way. 
43 to 50, 600, 601, Reborn 1 through 6, and Reborn Prologue. Okay. So again, a stupid dust jacket. Okay. Then we get somewhat of a uh, table of content. Gets... But this is stupid. It has Sentinel of Liberty and just issues 43 to 50. Okay. Then you get somewhat what issue, the issues, but you don't get a uh, page number. So I think this is kind of stupid. I don't like it anyway. You need to pay other page. If I want to read, so for example, I want to read page uh, or issue 49. What is, what, where should I, where will I find it? No clue. Can you get, get get this prelude here, and then we get right in, right right into it. And the, yeah, the artwork is tremendous. It's not Michael Lark. I mean, Steve Steve I think. This series is so good. Once again, the artwork is full. It spells out. It's almost like they've made the artwork too big, big bid, too big for the book. The artwork doesn't fit. I don't understand why they do this. Okay, let's see here. They don't have page counts. Which is stupid. As you can see, no page count. And so this is 46. Is this the original cover? I honestly don't know. I have no clue. And it doesn't say anywhere if it's it's just yeah it doesn't have the irregular it's I don't know I guess to me it's very frustrating okay otherwise as I said the series look past it look past it, but the physical things when this is what I look for when I look at for it look Doesn't have a page count, doesn't have a good table of content, doesn't have the covers, nothing like that, it's stupid. So I would say this is a bad omnibus, even though the actual series is one of the best moral series of all time. Let's move away from this and move on to the good Marvel omnibus. So this is the Savage Sword of Conan. The original Marvel Years Omnibus, Volume 1. I dare the spine. The classic Marvel Omnibus logo, Savage Sword, uh, the creators, and Volume 1, and a cool picture of Conan. Classic covers in the back. What it can. T oh, let me move away from that. Savage Tales 1 through 5, Savage Sword of Conan 1 through 12, and special number. One classic, as I said, with all the covers, which is really great. Of course, we get the stupid dust jacket. I just hate dust jackets. Instead of the classic black with just the embossing, they've done the color-wise. They've done this with a few books. You get the back. Done with, with the Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme book. There's actually a motif that wraps around, which is cool. Now we get into this. I love this color, all this brown, cold, whatever you call it. Cool. Really nice. So here we get all the creators. Great. Just start off in a great version here. This alone is great. The collection collection cover art. And the collection variant cover art. Obviously, there's two different versions of this. I actually mentioned that. That is really cool. And also, bet that Conan is created by Robert E. Howard. So you get all the details you want about the creators of this, all these books. And then you get the great content. Very, very good content. So let's see, let's just dig in here. Savage Sword of Conan, number four, February 1975, 
the contents, and every single page and what it's on. 439, okay? Let's do this. There's the foreword, the introduction, I guess. And then it just gets, look at this, Savage Tale. The artwork on this is freaking great. You have when it's out, May 71. Con this is the table of content from the actual magazine itself. Issue number. Savage Sword of Conan was in black and white. I love it in black and white. I just, this is Thursday today. A couple of days ago, Monday, I ordered more than two of this. Wow, look at this. This is the old origin of man thing. Like that. Okay, so I'm looking for, we all know why they did in black and white. It was cheap. Able to get there, there, next issue. Here we go, cover savage, and then you get everything. Look at that, that is so great. Itself, god damn, this is great. The artwork are so great. I was about to say, I wish there's an art book with just Conan covers, and there is. I ordered it, and then you have it. Content. This is so great. You see, it's October 1973. Page 81. Get into it. This is one of the best omnibuses when it comes to your, like page page numbering and information and the table of content and just the quality the put out of the entire book is simply amazing. These covers are so great. All of them. Damn, this is good. So, and they also have, okay, this is a big book, by the way. And we're over, over a thousand pages with all the, oh, look at that. Cool. Very cool. With all the extras. It's, one thousand, about two thousand twenty. Oh, look at this! Damn it, this is good. Good stuff. Oh yeah. I think this is the cover to the art book that I just ordered. No, was this one or that one? I can't remember. One of them. So a thousand. 40. This was the standard edition cover. This was the variant. So, I've almost gone 20 minutes now, but there you have what I think is a good omnibus. What I think is bad omnibus is from Marvel and DC. If you want to see me do more, oops, more like this, uh, I would love to compare, you know, books with Dark Horse and Image. And all the books they do, that good or bad. No, I don't. Not maybe omnibuses from Image or Dark Horse or the IDW or Boom or Dynamite, but they're oversized editions or hardcover editions and stuff like that. If you want me to do that, please give me a thumb up, comment if you think the video is good or bad, and uh, see you when I see you back in a while. Bye for now, boys.